Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cassandra. Today I am going to test the Bang Energy Drink to see if it raises or chaired lowers, I should say, our ketones and raises our blood sugar. This is something long overdue. I should have done a long time ago. There's a lot of other YouTubers who have done this test before and it really hasn't, um, it wasn't really a significant change, but everybody's different and I always felt like it affected me in a different way so I was totally curious I wanted to see and I just woke up like 20 minutes ago and I'm feeling super super tired and crappy and I need to build a snowman today with my son so I definitely need a drink to be honest I really just wanted a coffee but I forgot to make my cold brew last night so I'm stuck with the bang um, hopefully it doesn't make me sick. Sometimes too much caffeine can make me a little ill. I have been fasting now for about 12 and a half, almost 13 hours. It's about 8.30 a.m. Um, let's test our blood. All right, we are calibrated. Oh, no, I try. Alright, so we're at 1.8. That's actually kind of high for me. I've been testing 1.2 to 1.6 lately. Let's see what the blood uh, sugar is. It's funny that I feel like crap when my ketones are actually higher. And my blood sugar is 83. That's normal for me. I'm going to go ahead and drink this beauty. Um, this is like my favorite is the peach mango. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to probably take about a half hour or so to drink it all. Slowly drink it because that's just that's my normal way of drinking it. So I want to test it how I normally drink it. And then I'm going to test in another half hour. So I'll see you guys back in 30 minutes. Alright guys, I'm back. It's about 9.10 so it's been a little over a half hour, like maybe 40 minutes or so. Let's check. I could not finish the bang, you guys. I'm halfway through. It gives me so much energy. I'm going to try to drink more of it within the next half hour. 1.2, so I was at 1.8, so it's a little bit lower. Um, there's always going to be a little bit of a you know, range where it does fluctuate. So that could be something, it could not be something. Let's te test the sugar. I think it was 83 last time. 84, up a tiny bit, but that's still just one point, not bad. Um, ketones though, 1.8, 1.2, that's like a kind of a bigger difference, but I'm going to come back and test in about maybe an hour from now and see see what happens then. So I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. It has been two and a half hours since the original test. It's about 1040 right now. Still haven't eaten anything, still fasting, just got through playing outside in the snow, making a snowman. And ketones are still slowly dropping. Makes me want to do one more test in like a half hour just to see what happens. Um, let's see what the blood sugar looks like. Okay, I'm going to test the blood sugar, blood glucose. It was initially 83. Uh, so the blood sugar is still kind of remaining the same. But um, I think I'm going to test one more time just to see what happens since the ketones kind of are, you know, slowly dropping, but not really by much. So we're going to do one more in about a half hour. All right, guys, I'm back. It's about 11.27. Time flies. Sorry, I got busy. So it's been like maybe, I don't know, I'm not great at math, but probably 45 minutes or so since I last tested. Um, a little over three hours or more since um, the initial test. I just wanted to do one more just to check. It was 1.1, .1, I think, last time. And starting at 1.8. 1.2, that's awesome. Let's check the blood sugar. I'm sure it's the same. Okay, we're back for the blood glucose. 
Oh, it's been staying at around 83 to 84. And now it's even it's dropped some, so it hasn't even raised. So that's awesome news. All right, so there you guys have it. We did the test. It only took me like what those <laughs> like eight dollars worth of strips there, um, but it was totally worth it. I wish that my initial 1.8 ketone reading, I wish I would have retested because that could have been inaccurate or it could have just been because I had just woken up and I hadn't started moving or anything for the day. Um, I wish I would have retaken it because throughout the whole course of drinking the bang, it stayed between 1.1, 1.2 the whole time and my blood glucose even dropped a little bit. So. Um, I think Bang is totally keto friendly. I'm a little surprised by the results because I thought that it totally messed up my, I thought it would drop it a lot. Um, but, you know, I haven't had anything to eat or drink other than the Bang. Um, and I've been fasting now like 15 and a half going on 16 hours if you consider it fasting with the Bang. Um, but, you know, it's totally keto friendly. I'm still in ketosis, you know, anywhere from 0.6 to onward is still considered in ketosis. I still feel great. I feel amazing. I couldn't finish the whole bang though. This is only like maybe three quarters of it because I'm, I don't know, I'm such a small person and caffeine affects me differently. Um, but I guess that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and shoot them below and I'll be sure to answer them. Bye!